You are listening to an audiobook production of That Kind of Gal, authored by Crystal A. Johnson and published by Mamba Books and Publishing. Chapter 1, The Proverbs 31 Woman Before we delve into Galatians, let's dig into the Proverbs, especially Proverbs 31. The verses describe the ideal wife, yet to some, she's polarizing. Many women reared in the church grow up with the Proverbs 31 woman as a standard. And if you don't have a church background, I want to introduce you to the merits of Proverbs 31. The Proverbs were written from the time of King Solomon, 970 to 931 B.C., and through the time of King Hezekiah, 726 to 697 B.C. Proverbs 1 states, The Proverbs of Solomon, son of David, king of Israel, for granting wisdom and instruction, for understanding words of insight. For better or worse, King Solomon speaks from his experience. In Gibeon, the Lord appeared to Solomon in a dream by night, and God said, Ask what I shall give thee. 1 Kings 3, 5 At age 20, Solomon desired wisdom. God was pleased and granted wisdom to Solomon. Wisdom encompasses discernment and putting the knowledge gained into action. Despite receiving the gift of wisdom, he eventually gave in to lust and sinful desires. 1 Kings 11.3 says, He had 700 wives who were princesses and 300 concubines, and his wives turned his heart away. Throughout Proverbs, Solomon advises men on the type of women they should avoid marrying. However, in Proverbs 31, 10 through 31, he describes the traits of the perfect wife. For years, this standard had been embedded into the psyche of men and women. It's still a gold standard whether men are religious or not. Read Proverbs 31. In what ways do you identify with the Proverbs 31 woman? Is anything disconcerting to you about the Proverbs 31 woman? woman? Why? What do you think of King Solomon's wisdom and experience?